Let's jump straight into it. So we have this uh, application, ECG, Synthetic Signal Generator. It's actually real. It's all working okay. Uh, some features are disabled. It's because they're too hard. Keep uh, generating if you like. Can add BPM noise, white noise, a fifty hertz noise. Yes, there should be a sixty hertz option for our American friends. And this is still on local, running okay on local server. Uh, receive data point 750. Yes, yeah, so that's changing fine. We're still in uh, debugging mode in a, a Flask application. So debug is true. Just monitoring uh, the number of data points, which is changing okay. Probably can remove this quickly. Zip that points must be uh, in uh, JavaScript. Right, console log. We can comment this out so we uh, do not uh, monitor that. So that's uh, not showing anymore. There's no errors, everything working. And we receive. An OK response uh, for this. Let's pop it in ChatGPT. However, we tried to publish this uh, when it was yesterday. Should be this ECG signal generator, and it's giving this error. Uh, it's failing to load. So there's something with the URLs a problem because this one actually should not be that URL. It should be a different one. So let's make the bot uh, generate that. Yeah, it should show generate ECG. Not ECG gen. Yes, ECG gen. Wait a second, no, there's something. Uh, ECG gen, ECG gen. ECG chain. Let's check the folder. ECG chain is the folder. Has the index HTML and everything. Um, I think we're having a problem with this file. Uh, let's check. Uh, Folders for a sec. A barkias ECG gen. Yes, and we have all the the HTML and templates. Let's display groups and permissions. Yeah, the groups and permissions look okay. I think there might be a problem with uh, Apache. Uh, check this file here. Yeah, it seems to be legit. 
server configuration. Just make sure the files actually exist. So we have the CGG. We have the yeah, this is my app. Yeah, we have this configuration. Sorry for that. This is the the grueling. A reality of getting something to work. The syntax is okay for the configuration file. So this line is uncommented. I don't think I need it. That's why it's uncommented uh, commented out. Yeah, we have this test here that must be relevant. Okay, maybe it's not actually relevant for the page. That the uh, the to the fact that the page is not loading at all. Okay, we do have some errors. Let's do load this again for a sec. We have this bunch of uh, errors. Let's use the uh, GPT-4, GPT, 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 to explain this to us. Uh, what? I've seen something similar before, so this is actually, I didn't expect that at all. There's supposedly some problem with NeuroKid. Pretty sure we did this already. Read this quickly. The error log you provided indicates that there is a module not found error for Neurokit 2 feed when attempting to render WSGI application. This means that the Neurokit 2 feed Python library is not installed or not accessible in the environment where your WSGI application is running. Um, pretty sure. Don't have a virtual environment running. Also, this module is working fine on a local server. The causing trouble in production. Yeah, there's something with the installation. It's essentially not globally uh, recognized. Some of the toolkits. Ensure that the Python interpreter used by Apache mod underscore WSGI is the same as the one you are using locally when Rogue 2 is installed. You can specify the Python home directory for mod underscore WSGI by adding the following to your Apache configuration. Right, so this actually helped before. Definitely remember uh, doing this. So essentially, this suggests that currently NeuroKit 2 is not globally installed. Right, so it's actually installing it. Right, so now supposedly it's installed uh, globally. Might just restart the server. We haven't changed anything to the files. Still working okay. Right, it's working. So, yay, that was a. Uh, a fairly straightforward so that's good so now it should be accessible to you pop it in the chat just in case you want to try it out should check it from my phone as well so if you can help me testing that would be awesome uh, Okay. Let's just check it in uh, Firefox. I know if it's uh, working in Edge. No, I'm using Chrome. It should work in Edge as well because it's Chromium based. It should be more or less the same. I think Firefox is pretty, a uh, pretty different. No, it's not. Firefox sometimes would not load. 